In the headlines, police fire tear gas to disperse protesting UEW students in Winneba. In Najisu, in the Ashanti region, the police have arrested 21 foreign nationals with suspicious behavior following a complaint by community members as part of the See Something, Say Something campaign. Foreign minister says Ghana will not recognize Ukraine territories taken by Russia. In business, Melcom Group rebrands with new company logo, and we bring you a snapshot of how the Black Stars are preparing for the Qatar World Cup in November, December. Welcome to the news in brief on Graphic Online. We start from Winneba in the central region, where the police today resorted to the use of tear gas to disperse some protesting students of the University of Education, Winneba. The students were protesting what they say were discrepancies in their results as posted on the university's notice boards and what appears on the online portal. The university is about going on vacation and according to the students, they wanted to know their true results before the break for the new semester to commence. The university management had reportedly scheduled a meeting with level 400 students in particular for a discussion on the issue today. However, after waiting for some time with no sign of the meeting happening, the students reportedly masked up and went on rampage. Some reportedly disrupted lectures and other administrative duties. They reportedly broke some signposts, tree branches, and used them to block some road on campus. This resulted in the calling of the police to intervene. When the first police responders arrived, they were unable to control the students and therefore called for reinforcement. This resulted in the firing of tear gas to disperse the students. Graphic Online understands. From Winneba, we moved to adjusting the Ashanti region, where as part of the See Something, Say Something campaign, some residents have reported the suspicious activities of some foreign nationals to the police. This has resulted in the arrest of 21 foreign nationals. The arrest followed a tip-off by some community members in the area who noticed the abnormal behavior of the foreign nationals in the area. According to the community members, they observed the suspicious activities of the foreign nationals for months and therefore decided to report them to the police for further investigations. And I entered and I asked them, what are they doing? They said that they are learning. In the evening, you see them calling, making calls. Different, different calls. Everybody's trying, I think maybe they're trying to convince someone, I don't know. So that is what they've been doing around here. security conscious honestly we are not security conscious sometimes at the ongoing 77th united nations general assembly in new york ghana's foreign affairs and regional integration minister shelly ayoko Boche yesterday said ghana will not recognize ukraine territories forcefully taken by russia Ms. Boche therefore called on Russia to immediately and unconditionally cease its operations in Ukraine by redrawing its troops and also respecting the internationally recognized borders of Ukraine. She urged Russia to respect Ukraine's sovereignty and political independence and said there was the need for Russia and Ukraine to chart a diplomatic course to resolve the impasse between them. Ukraine as a sovereign state and a member of this organization has every right, we believe, and indeed a responsibility to defend its territorial integrity and political independence. We recognize the tremendous courage and resilience of the Ukrainian people. Ghana does not and will not recognize any territory that is unilaterally and forcefully required or acquired as dismembered from a sovereign entity. We reiterate the call on the Russian Federation to immediately and unconditionally cease its operations, withdraw its troops from the internationally recognized borders of Ukraine, and respect its neighbor's sovereignty and political independence. And in business news, the Melcom Group of Companies has rebranded to provide a variety of products and services to meet the changing needs of its customers. The company's new identity now focused on expanding product range across their categories would blend the traditional with modern to offer consumers world-class services at their doorsteps. At the launch of the new beginning in Accra Thursday night, Melcom introduced a new corporate logo, a red oval wrapping its calligraphically written name to the universal location sign used in the virtual space in red, blue and white colors. 
the event at its signature shopping center, the Melcom Plus at the North Industrial Area, saw the lighting of a lamp in honor of the founder of Melcom, the late Majaku Kandani, and it was attended by players in the retail industry, management and staff of, of Melcom, as well as well wishes. And before we go, we bring you how the Black Stars are battle ready for their Brazilian counterpart in a thrilling international friendly in France. The David and Goliath affair is to test the Black Stars' combat readiness for their fourth FIFA World Cup appearance at Qatar 2022 in November-December. Coach Otu Ado and his technical team had the luxury of preparing with all the invited players for the high-profile match against the five-time world champions. <laughs> News in Brief is brought to you by Graphic News Plus. Download your Graphic News Plus now and choose your preferred package daily, weekly, monthly and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well. Visit us on graphic.com.gh for further information. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. Thank you for watching. For more news, please visit our website graphic.com.gh or follow us on Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube and Twitter at GraphiGH. I'm Ama Amankwa Befi. Subscribe now.